piece of plank. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And so tonight, our last beer of the night, we're going to get to try something that I didn't think I'd get to try this year. Uh, this is Michigan Maple Jesus from Evil Twin. This one's getting crazy good reviews, actually hard to trade for, but I found a bottle at retail, so I was kind of pumped about that. Yeah, it's that's a 12% nice. ABV beer. This is an Imperial Stout aged in maple syrup, maple syrup bourbon barrels. So oh, wonderful. All right, so again, look at that price tag though for more than. Whoa, yeah. that was pricey. Anyway, yeah, it's 10 bucks for a 12 ounce. That's like Avery barrel aged. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I've heard great things about this, never had it before. Love maple syrup, love bourbon, love stouts. Yeah, and Evil Twin. I mean, they do some yeah, good stuff. Yeah. The Even More Jesus is really good. Absolutely. So it's this a little is just thin compared to what it, I expected, it's thin, but it's still pitch poured black. Dark. But it's holding the the head actually holds. It does, yeah. It's uh, you know, nice little tan head, khaki head that's holding the glass. I get a lot of bourbon character. I get like bourbon, bourbon and a little sweetness. vanilla and sweetness. Yeah. Not getting much maple. And a little bit of roastiness, maybe a little hint of chocolate, roasty mm -hmm. moths there. I think I almost went over the top that time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it go bloop. <laughs> I'm mostly getting a big bourbon. I get bourbon and some sweetness. Yeah. It's hard all to right. tell if it's going to be maple, but all right. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Well, that's big sweet. Ooh, super sweet syrupy sweet yeah well, and then roastiness, roastiness yeah. and then it's it's got a decent mouthfeel kind of this nice velvety mouthfeel big sweet up front and then as the kind of the wave of sweetness goes over your tongue getting some roastiness there hmm i wonder if this is even more jesus the base beer plus you know the bourbon barrel of maple i mean that's what i would guess because yeah. that's a pretty roasty beer it is really good though yeah uh, but it, i kind of get that that's pretty good I mean, I think it's really solid. Great mouth, great creamy, velvety mouthfeel. This big sweetness there, but I mean, there's a there's an equally big roastiness to follow. Yeah. It's got you can still get the roastiness through all the sweetness and yeah. and the bourbon, uh, but I don't know if I could tell it was maple syrup though. To be no, honest, no, it's I mean it's sweet, but I can't. I mean, not for sure maples, you know. Right. Um, you know, a lot of times when you drink the bourbon barrel of stouts, it almost cuts that roastiness out. It does. And this this is still there. I mean, very yeah. strong. Not in a bad way. I mean, it's not like a bitter Russian imperial stout. Right. It's kind of, maybe it's, maybe, again, if we did them side by side, maybe it's cut some of that bitterness down, but um, it's still very prevalent. Well, think of like Bourbon County. I mean, I haven't seen the malt bill. That's a pretty roasty beer, but God, there's nothing. They there. have so much bourbon yeah. and vanilla flavor to it. It just completely cuts it yeah. and masks it. This mm -hmm. still kind of shine. I mean, you still get some of the roastiness. Yeah. Um, but if it's even more Jesus, I mean, that's a very roasty base beer. I guess I need to try that again. I kind of think of like Plead the Fifth and Bourbon Barrel Plead the Fifth. Plead mm -hmm. the Fifth was like overly bitter, roasty to yeah. me. You know, not a bad beer, just not what I look for. But then the bourbon cuts that. Basically, it out. makes it sweeter. Yeah, it makes perfect. it so much sweeter. Yeah, this is this is really good. Mm. I like the sweetness. I just wish I could tell it's maple syrup. I mean, yeah. after just having that morning wood, from <laughs> dude, I mean, this just it's good. I like yeah. the sweetness. Yeah. I just wish I could tell it was maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess if I had, um, I love the mouthfeel. I mean, it's it is big. Creamy. It's very mm -hmm. creamy. It is. And actually, as I'm getting into it, and I may, I think this, you know, I think this is going to continue to improve as I drink it. Mm -hmm. We don't like to do big, long reviews, but it'd be one of those that we could probably come back to at the end if we had time to, um, you know, give our final opinion on what this has come to be. But I, I wish there's a little less roastiness, a little more sweetness, mm -hmm. and a little more maple character. Yeah. The maple character is the only thing. I, I kind of like the roastiness. I don't yeah. think it's too roasty. I think it balances pretty it, it's well nice. with the sweetness. Yeah. Um, and the sweetness isn't over the top. I mean, some uh, some beers where they just add lactic or lactose, mm -hmm. just the lactose mm -hmm. makes it have a, a weird sweetness. Yeah. And this is, you can tell it's something else. I like it. I like it. I'm a lot. already enjoying it more and more, but I'm going to go 433. 433. I was going to go 45. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I think that's fair. I was, I was kind of in between. I was at a 425. I'm enjoying it more and more. I might get to a 45. I'm going to stick with the 433, but I think 45 is a fair rating. Right yeah, and 433 is fair too. Uh, it's, it's a good beer. Thanks for sharing it. Absolutely. Anything else? Mm -mm. As always, if you can have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.